Hello and welcome back to another Oversky Card Spotlight. This week we're going to take a look at Apex Predator. Now this card hasn't really been in Feria much recently. It was actually a very powerful card back in Early Access. They had to nerf it because we basically just had a lot of Apex Mirrors, which can be quite a messy matchup if you consider its ability. Gift, gain attack and life equal to any creatures. So if you play an Apex Predator and it becomes quite big, you can then play another Apex Predator and copy the first Apex Predator and then just keep copying the last Apex Predator you've played, empowering your creatures even bigger and bigger. So Apex Predator was once 6 Fairy, but now it's 7 Fairy, and that seemed to be enough just to check the card to make sure it wasn't too powerful. But unfortunately at 7 Fairy, the card is a little too expensive and it's quite a situational card. This You can't really play this as a 7 Fairy or 3-3 free free, and you really want to get as much value as possible so this ain't any good creatures to copy, it's actually quite a bad investment. But I'm going to take Apex Predator for a spin. I've got an Oversky build. Apex did get some support. Blue Green got some fantastic cards. The Octopus, the Frog Tossers. Uh, but Blue Green has kind of gone into the Ramp Swallow kind of area instead of focusing on this dual color creature. So let's get into some matches and see how my Oversky deck performs. If you'd like to see the deck list, be sure to check out the article in the description below. Alrighty guys, into our first match with Apex Predator. As you can see, it's the start of the season. Had a couple of games with this list. I haven't lost with it yet. So we'll uh, we'll see how it performs. And Sturdy Shell, fantastic. I kept the Octopus. I can play this turn three. The Sturdy Shell is absolutely perfect here. And Rundong is going to be our opponent. Late to start things off. I can assume that this is probably going to be... Some form of blue-green. That's actually not too bad for us because we kind of have the stronger win condition in a way. Uh, but if it's like a whale version, it could be pretty tough. A Sturdy Shell, fantastic turn one harvester. Get that out straight away, get it collecting. Can also enchant it up to a 5-5, five five, uh, which can be quite deadly. So we, we have this fantastic creature to start things off. We also have the octopus going to the other side, and it is going to be some blue-green ramp. So we're actually going to see how we match up against this. And as you can see, I'm building from outside my wells because I feel this list is a bit slower because we're relying on a seven fairy, a six land creature, which I did say at the start of the video can be a dead card or is quite situational. So let's, yeah, let's take a forest and pass. This is going to jump here. Then we can go explore lake into octopus as a jumper probably and then we'll enchant this to challenge the water elemental a little vulnerable to elderwood embrace but what can you do oh wow is that a warrior here yeah so i say if you play the warrior here very very dangerous so now we're actually going to go for a five five i've changed my mind So this challenges the 4-4 for jumps here. We can also enchant this and then move this up. So if you want to collect Faria here, you're going to have to build our land and then challenge. If you want to come to this side, my 5-5 octopus. We'll have a few words with our friend here, the Triton Warrior. It's going to be a lake, going to jump over. So not enough to play an Elderwood, but enough to play an Aurora. Sad times. Perfect answer. Unfortunately, not a lot we can do about that. Yeah, we'll just take a forest. We're going to move into double collection. So we're both double collecting, but our opponent definitely has the advantage here, especially with all these uh, all these creatures. Another water elemental coming down. And this is generally why the ramp version is better. It can get on board much quicker. It gets lands down much quicker and accelerates its wing condition, which is usually the Azura Sky Whale. And we do have an enchant. We can enchant this. Bring it down to a 1-1. One, one. Picked up another crystal flower. I 
I don't really want the Crystal Flower anything right now. I think we'll just pass. Okay, we'll Frog Toss of this, and then we might Crystal Flower this guy. This is probably going to jump in. Maybe build a land here so this can jump across, push five? I'm not sure. We're, we're, we're in whale territory now. Which is a little concerning. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little little worried. Fugoro. Into the urn. Into a whale. To a mystic beast. So this is a more temple oriented version. So we have a couple of crystal flowers to keep things in check. Might build a land here actually. To crystal flower. Then we can make like an aggressive or oh, a defensive, sorry. Sturdy sturdy shell, maybe a defensive frog tosser. Yeah, well, I, I think we have to do that. What sort do we need? We need a forest. We'll take the I guess we can take the Mystic Beast? Or do we take this guy? I think the Mystic Beast. We can then Frog Toss of this. It's a shame because now the 1 1 can clear. Then we can Sturdy Shell here. Enchant? Um, I think we crystal flower this as well. So if this jumps over and hits the flower, it means that the sturdy shell can clear this or it can clear the frog. That's a trade I'm not too bothered about. We still have this on this side that can have some influence. We really need a willow. We can get a willow, we can feed the willow. Get some card draw. Get some uh get some more uh fairy for next turn. Frog tosser on the frog. Throwing a frog at a frog. Bit of frogception there. And then we can throw, <laughs> we can throw a frog at the frog and carry on this nonsense. Uh, we'll take a draw. Stop flower. I'm not dead to Aurora, so that's fine. <laughs> but as you can see, the blue green mirror, quite quite spicy. <laughs> Lots of. Frog tosses and stuff like that. Gonna jump across. We don't have any healing, so we're a little vulnerable now. That's such a low life total. But I can clear the 4 4. I can clear the 4 2. Is that gonna be a whale? Yeah. So, whale is one of the bigger problems. Because we don't really have an answer to whale outside of Apex Predator, which we need on the board to be able to do something. I need to play a creature here. Let's clear this stuff. We can then take a land, I guess, up here. Collect. Uh, we can enchant. Doesn't really matter what we enchant, to be honest. Enchant this and hope for the best. <laughs> so one more swallow mechanic and we're done. So plus one into whale is gonna be done. Uh, game, yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. And then we have it, and that goes to show, I mean, this is a good example as our first game because it kind of goes to show why Apex Predator doesn't quite match up to the ramp variant that uses a lot of land acceleration and then has the whale as the win condition. A 6 fairy, a 6-6 six, six fly in charge too. You know, you get a good solid base stat line there. But you also get to soft remove a threat off the board. So yeah, good. Kind of, I'm kind of glad we got to play in this uh, color mirror because the archetypes, you get to see why 
this ramp variant is so much better than the Apex version. Into our next game, see if this goes a little bit better. An already a very good start. We have a Willow, we have an Octopus. Now we could hard mulligan for a for a sturdy shell, but I'm pretty happy going on a turn to a two turn collection uh, with Living Willow. We can go Forest, then we can go into late um, Forest again, and we can get the Willow. Now this is looking like some classic mid red so far. Although it could be a red yellow event given that it's an Outland Ranger and Campfire would definitely benefit that archetype. So I think we're going to go down the other side here. We're just going to explore into the forest. So we can play Willow here and against Red Willow will survive a lot and collect a lot of Feria for us. We could go straight into double collection actually. And it's actually, oh it's going to be a split from our opponent as well. I'm going to play the campfire preemptively. Very interesting. Yeah, we'll take a forest here and we'll take the willow. And next turn we take the lake and then we take the octopus. So then we have a collector on both sides. We'll see what our opponent decides. Our, our opponent might decide to do the same thing, really. Just move down the other side. That's a grim guard. So some form of combat. Maybe co combat burn. I'm not sure. This puts more faith in me going for a 3-7 because we haven't seen a desert yet, which means that choking sands is very unlikely. Unless the desert pops up now, that'd be a little sad, but still, our opponent would have to run choking sands. Let's shimmy down with the Grim Guard. Hmm, I'm a little cautious of Horsemaster, if I'm honest. But I would like to challenge this, so let's let's preemptively buff and move up. Oh, we can actually take another land here. I think we want a forest. No, actually, we want a lake. We want a lake here. So, what a lake allow? A lakes on the wells give us Fugoro Fugoro jump jumping range. It also gives us Octopus, which can be summoned on the forest and a or a lake, so it doesn't really matter. But for Fogoro, it's quite nice to have the lakes in this spot. And it's going to be Cypher the Blood Tyrant. Okay. Aurora's Creation. Just take another enchant. Oh, excellent. I guess we'll go forest first. Alright, Apex Predator, we got one. Finally got one out. We can go double neutral, we don't need any more uh, lands. Move this into double collection. We're gonna quad collect next turn. Creation this. And then that will cost two Feria. Let's see what our opponent gets up to. I was gonna block us from collecting Feria. That's fair. Oh, there is a desert. And another Grimguard. So many crystal flowers. I might actually crystal flower one of these now. Although, we could just plus one creation. Yeah, let's do that. But now we have a 1338 Apex Predator. <laughs> and then we can start waking our way over to our opponent's orb with this, and we can just Crystal Flower anything that gets in our way. So I'm probably going to Crystal Flower this Grim Guard. Oh, and there's a Concede, so... I guess he didn't think he'd defeat a 10-8 and a 1313. And that's entirely fair, and this is one thing Apex can do. I think I was a little fortunate there that my opponent played super slow and I got to play super slow and all the draws lined up and then I was able to get that Apex Predator down. All right, into our next match. Very quick win there. Apex Predator taking the game for us. Let's see what happens this round. Oh, Living Willow, very nice. So we have a turn two collector. 
cannot complain. Sad thing is we won't be able to enchant it until turn four. Which could be pretty relevant, depending on what our opponent's playing. So we have forest, explore, wood elemental forest. Into a greetings. I don't know if that's BM or just a delayed greetings, but we're going to take Living Willow on the left hand side and then start collecting quite nicely. Moving this into the defensive position could be quite difficult. I'm kind of hoping this isn't Crackthorn. Then again, I'm kind of hoping it's. I'm kind of hoping it's Mono Green. If anything, I can uh, I can handle Mono Green if I get some land ramp. If I can, you know, pick a pick up an Apex Predator quite early. This land might tell us exactly what we're going up against. It's starting to smell like Mono Green to me. And there's a Willow. Already in the double collection, showing how powerful a car like Wood Elemental is. And now I'm just going to move over here with my lonely, very sad single collection. Hopefully I'll pick up another creature. Double Feed the Forest is a little janky, unfortunately. Oh, another Willow. That is perfect. So we can play Willow. And this, and this, if this Willow moves up, or a creature is developed here, we could go into enchant and then clear. I think the biggest problem for me right now would be Farian Golem or Verdun Force, because I'd have to trade with Verdun Force. If it's like a Grove Guardian, it's a little better. Oh, wow. So we're probably going to feed this one instead. That's a Fagoro. So let's take a forest. We'll collect. And we'll feed this. So many feeds, so little time. I think we just pass here. This is such a clunky hand. Hopefully Fagoro can help us out. We can get an early Apex Predator down and maybe block this Farian Golem. We have a lot of theory, so we could go like Apex into Creation into Apex. And unless there's a uh, voice of truth, we'd be in a good we'll be in a good position. Could also copy Virgin Force. Frog Tosser, that's not bad. But not quite what we need at this point. Let's let's go for an urn of Gabriel and try and get that Apex Predator. There he is. Alright, so we, we've got a match now. So we can go Apex, copy, Apex, Apex. And we can maybe get an Apex on this side. Unless I go double neutral Earthcraft and get an Apex. Oh, how can I say no? Oh no, I can't double neutral. What am I talking about? I've used my power wheel. 7, 14, 19. We can feed. Okay, so let's... Let's see where we're going with this first. I'm going to feed this. A frog tosser. I really want to pick up another Earthcraft, but I don't want to gamble for it. So let's... Yeah, let's Apex. So we'll have our weaker Apex on this side. And then we'll get a frog tosser over here. That blocks double collection. I think we'll pass. So we have a 1318. This kills Farian Golem. And it kills Virgin Force. And it lives to tell the tale. Unless it's a voice of truth. Voice of truth would be pretty sad, actually. But I still have the other Apex Predator. So the pre-hit there is pretty decent, actually. He's going to power up the Farian Golem. Wait. Is there another power up? Might have been a misstep then. I don't understand the double neutral either, if I'm honest. I'm assuming there's another power up here. Well played. <laughs> 
Oops. And there we have it. So, as you can see, if Apex comes down in the right situation, most players will just concede. This is the second concede we've had in a row because they couldn't handle Apex. Some some decks just can't handle it. Uh, Mono Green needs to run Voice of Truth in order to check Apex Predator. If they don't have Voice of Truth, it's not a lot they can do. If, if you're going to say Mono Red and you get two Apex down as well, they're not going to kill the Apex unless they run Crystal Flower. So there are some matchups where Apex Predator can just be an instant win. All right, guys, into another match. Let's see if we can have a game where our opponent doesn't concede when Apex Predator comes down. And this is a terrible hand, so let's throw it. And this is a terrible hand, too. Let's hope we get uh, something good in our next couple of draws. Forest, and we'll pass. Now, uh, Sea Moon is at rank 3 already, on the way to God rank. And that is a desert. Not looking good, guys. And this can be the problem with land ramp decks. You know, you have these high land cost requirement cards, and if you don't get the ramp, or if you don't draw your early collectors, it can be really devastating. Whereas something like mono yellow, mono red, can be very consistent because a lot of their creatures only cost two to three lands. So yeah, we're just going to be throwing down lands until we either have to crystal flower something or we pick up a creature. And this is where elementals can really benefit you. If you really want to accelerate uh, your win condition, elementals are fantastic, but I wanted to squeeze in a bit more utility. And that does unfortunately come with a price, and the price is usually consistency. Ugh. This is not fun. Three crystal flowers. Maybe three crystal flowers are too many for this list. The sad thing is, if I crystal flower this, how do I deal with it later? I have to do it. I have to I have to slow things down. I'm probably gonna have to crystal fly both of these to be honest. So this makes a uh, fairy collection a lot worse for my opponent. And Shaitan Demon is slowly gonna chip away. Maybe we could just go land land apex and just try and win off that. That's probably our best line. So yeah, I'll go Forest Lake, Apex, copy this demon, hope there's not a nightmare, and kind of go from there. Double neutral. Maybe a Fnatic. Another Charger. So this is good food for the Frog Tosser, at least. Are we going to be able to frog toss the next turn? Probably not. And if I go for crystal flower, we're not going to be able to do that either. So we just pass. So living, living on a living on an apex prayer here, <laughs> just hoping that yellow doesn't have hard removal. It's a little ambitious. Our oh, manta rider. Come stop us in our tracks. Maybe. Oh, that changes a lot, actually. So now we can do a, little, a lot of things. We can feed this up. Nom nom nom. Seven. So I can frog toss a apex. I kind of want to crystal flower this instead, and then apex this, and then just try and go for the win off that. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go for the crystal flower instead. We're gonna play to our strengths, and right now our strength is trying to win next. Well, the next couple of turns. So we're just trying to win off the off the eight seven, and then we can use plus one frog tosser to clear anything that's in the way. But last nightmare. Had to play to our rights, guys. I guess I could have made a different line. Yeah. Very unfortunate. These are going to crack open very soon. That's probably going to be game. So, I, like I said, I was just kind of banking on there was no... Yeah, I was just kind of banking there was no last nightmare. A little ambitious, unfortunately. 
I have my frog tosser, I don't get a frog unless I play it up here. But then I'm just dead to wind soldier. But yeah. So that's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be uh that's gonna be a game. And you know, like I said, I play I played to my best out, and I think that was just trying to go for the win with the Apex Predator. Um and just hoping there was no removal. But so what you have to do in card games sometimes, play to your outs and try and find that win. Unfortunate that we didn't get it this time. Alright guys, our last game of this episode. Let's see if we can... So, so, so far, we've had two styles of games. We either play Apex and win, or our opponent runs us over before we can do that. So I'm hoping for a more level game where we have, we have to fight back and forth a little bit, but... I don't know, we'll see. Right, Living Willow to start things off. We're 2-2, two, two, so this is the decider. Do I go 3-2 of Apex or do I go 2-3? Explore, forests, pass. Okay. So this, oh, was a draw. I feel like our opponents had a pretty bad hand here. Seed of Paradise, that's not a card we see very often. I'm very curious to see what that makes. Another Seed of Paradise. And that is unfortunately something I can't answer. Para saying hi, I'm sorry Para. Just wanna stay focused on the game here. I could actually crystal fire one of these. I mean it does. Stop a bit of collection, a bit of land development. No, I'm actually just gonna carry on moving up, I think. Because this is gonna. This one's not gonna transform anyway, because it needs to collect and be on an empty tile. So he needed to dash the 1C to the right onto the lake. And I'm not afraid that Seed of Paradise is gonna have any. Real impact on my living willow here. Everbloom Wisp! <laughs> That's not a card I expected to see. Is Seed of Paradise gonna collect this turn? Into a forest? Alright, so this is probably mono green. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? That's not very nice. Oh, we have another one, it's fine. You know what, I'm gonna... Five... Yeah, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna go here, enchant. Mm, didn't pick up. Didn't pick up the Earthcraft there. A little unfortunate. Okay, so I was trying to go for an Earthcraft there so I could play Predator, but didn't get it unfortunately. We do have Enchantress and Enchantment sitting ready for that Willow when it does crack out of the Crystal Flower. We can go into Apex Predator on the next turn. I might go like Apex into Flower, depending on what gets played. And then I can Flower the 5-6 if it gets too big. Yep, so... Guess we take a lake here.
Yeah, we can fly with this. And then I can fly with the next big threat that comes out. I was a little afraid of, like, teleport, wild growth, maybe, or elderwood. There was a few things that could have happened to my apex predator with that everbloom wisp on the field. So I'm just checking it now to make sure it can't do anything. I'm gonna feed the firing golem. So apex predator directly kills firing golem with its base attack. Well, this this attack value at least. It's gonna be a big oak father. We're gonna feed the big oak father. Okay. Oak father actually survives apex predator. Forest. Okay. I'm assuming something big is going to come down or a voice of truth. Oak father on the, the left hand side. He knows I'm going to break this open. I'm gonna enchant it as well. Cause I wanna see if we draw anything good. We drew a crystal flower, take another draw, drew a frog tosser. Now we can we can just swallow this. And so you know, crystal flower is pretty important in managing the board for us against these slow decks. As you can see the previous game. It helped, but we didn't have any creatures. That was the main problem. We didn't have any early game creatures. Oh, sad time. It's gonna sky whale our poor apex predator. Mono green with sky whales. That's something you see very often. Farian golem. So we can take a neutral here. Move this across so it can't break open the Everbloom. Collect Feria. Oh, I guess I could have taken Lake and played the Octopus aggressively. That was an alternative line. No, I'm going to play this here. I'll take my last one there, and I'm, I'll, I'll move this sturdy shell into collection this side. So I'm just blocking the uh, the whale. This is probably going to move and kill this, and then I can enchant and I can kill this and get my apex back. That's that's the plan at least. Oh no, it's going to do it that way. Okay. I'm curious to see what the whale gets up to. Maybe it just hits my octopus. But then again, my octopus can hit it, and then I get my apex back, and I can just swallow the. The oak father. I don't know. Looking about, looking at running away from me. Come back here, whale. Ain't finished with you. <laughs> Another crystal flower. Oh, Fugoro is very handy. Let's see what Fugoro has for us. The forest. Earthcraft. Can collect here. Can probably just enchant swallow, I'm thinking. Move this down, and then if this comes here to crack open the. Yeah, so yeah, we'll move this down. We'll enchant this, then we'll swallow this. We'll take some Feria. Okay, this is more of a match. I could really do with another Apex Predator. I think another Apex Predator would really set me up. But the whales are going to be a problem. Because this whale can just run away from me. 
But I do have a, a Willow coming up later. I'm curious to see where this whale goes. And these frog tossers have been kind of useless, really. I need smaller creatures in order to get value out of these frog tossers. Maybe I should have just bit... Maybe I should have double frog tossed the, the whale. I don't know. Moves on to the neutral tile, so again, the whale just keeps running. <laughs> Forest. It's another oak farmer. Oh man, that is a big oak farmer. He's a big boy. Hmm. Let's take a draw. Willow. Take an Earthcraft. Ah, man, Frog Toss is just so bad in this matchup for us. I guess I can at least kill this. So I'm going to take a fair amount of damage this turn. I can... I can see the Oak Father stepping across and then the Everbloom Wisp killing my my octopus potentially. Maybe another flower comes down. I would actually prefer if the if the Oak Father kills my octopus. Oh no, I guess, I guess maybe not. Another, another, another wisp. And this is gonna shimmy across and punch me. Oh, we're look things are looking dangerous now. Dead to a power up. I can frog toss of this. Actually, de dead to double forests. Two forests will kill me. I kind of need to play Willow this turn. Or I play the octopus. So just taunt one of these guys up. So if this wants to come and kill Fugoro, I have my taunt in the way. Um, I think I can lake. Maybe lake here, double collect in sturdy shell. In case my Fugoro does die. I don't know, maybe I need to save the fairy. It's tough to say. I think maybe, yeah, maybe I should have saved the fairy. Just a little afraid of my Fogoro dying, because he actually can still move here and kill my Fogoro. Gonna punch me again for six. I can then clear the one, then frog toss it. And I'm not dead. I still have this guy to worry about. But this should break this breaks open as well. 
I don't know, maybe I should have jumped for Goro here, forcing the whale to come back and clear him for Goro. Oh, we can actually let this out. Oh, man. Too many, too many oak fathers. <laughs> oh, he's gonna feed it. Okay, okay. I'll... I was a little afraid of that oak father, but I have no fear now. Wild Avenger! It's not a card I expected. Into Runin. Yeah, too, too many, too many creatures on a dance floor here, guys. It's not looking good. I get enchant? I could enchant clear this, kill this. Taunt? Plus one off the taunt? Oh, I don't plus one. That's for Goro. That whale just like, it goes to show really that how powerful whale is in comparison to say, uh, Say the apex predator. Oh wow, okay. Um I could copy this. Dash this in here. Clear this with a seven. Hello? Like, I, I don't know, like, there's, there's, yeah, there's not really much we can do here. I, I couldn't figure it out, but well played. Now, opponent is going to take this, uh, too many big creatures. Uh, I kind of, I'm, I'm, Apex supposed to be the king of big bodies, but unfortunately, couldn't handle all the Oak Fathers. There wasn't anything to Frog Toss, they were kind of dead cards in my hand. A little unfortunate there, but that is going to be it for this episode. And as you can see, the Apex Predator not matching up to the power of Azura Sky Whale. A little unfortunate, Apex. You are loved by many, but not really a good card, unfortunately. Not for Blue Green, which have so many other better tools. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the article where you can find the deck list if you'd like to give Apex Predator a go on the ladder. We just had a start of a new season, so this could be a good opportunity for you to test Apex Predator and see if you enjoy the card and see if you can find a build that you like. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and you haven't already drop a subscribe to keep up to date of when our content goes live. We have the monthly cup coming up this weekend be sure to check that out for some high level competitive theory action. So until next time guys take care and enjoy Apex Predator.